Hi, this is Donna Dakey, and you're listening to Mindfully Connected. So in my many years of practicing skincare, one thing that I've learned is inner wellness equals outer beauty. And I've learned that it's not enough to treat your skin from the outside only. You have to nurture it from the inside as well. And as I went through this transformational process of skincare and uh, really holistic coaching, I really struggled to see how my skincare practice fit into my expansion of uh, this integrative wellness. Because I viewed them as two separate elements from an occupational perspective. And that sort of left me feeling like I had to pull back from one practice to create time to support my passion in another. Well, little did I know that once again, the university or the universe was at work demonstrating how just following its lead, listening to those nudges and trusting can really open us up to fantastic synchronicity in life as it guides us really along this journey. So I've always loved aesthetics and the science behind, well, everything, but the science behind the skin and the beauty industry. And I'll admit, I'm a uh, self-admitted recovering beauty product junkie. But what I didn't appreciate about the industry, I guess, was the heavy emphasis on product marketing and outer beauty what esthetician school and training back in the day were missing for me was the broader concept of skin of skin health from a holistic whole body approach so okay so yeah i'm a little hard-headed and on some level i guess i just needed to learn the hard way how skincare and holistic wellness completely support each other blending in the absolute most perfect integrated way. But following in the the solid nudge for not abandoning skincare and moving into my growth and expansion and creating the boundaries necessary for my personal balance finally led me to embrace skincare from a whole new perspective. We think we're in charge, But really, it's only later that we learn there's just junk, those growth opportunities that we just have to go through to become even better at being us. So I finally arrived at a place where I believe my background perfectly blended my work as an esthetician with self-care wellness coach, bringing together really two of my passions. All right, so that's me. And enough about me, let's talk skin. What are the basics of holistic skincare? Well, have you ever wondered why you might break out before an important meeting or that time of the month? Maybe you, have you ever really considered that poor gut health and um, stress could be driving your skin sensitivities? How do stress and sluggish, you know, system or electromagnetic toxin create inflammation. Now that we've discovered the truth that the skin is a reflection of all that's going on inside, we can look at the essence of holistic skincare, factoring in recommendations beyond just applying those yummy serums and moisturizers. So first let's talk about stress. Stress, stress, stress. We hear it all the time, but the truth is we're in fight or flight mode most of the time, even when we're sleeping. It's really hard to uh, have it turned down unless we make a practice of it. So in small amounts, of course, stress can be necessary, even helpful when it's related to a positive event. Negative stress, however, can take its toll on our body, our health, and our skin. And it can lead to those acne flare-ups. It can uh, present as rosacea, rashes, psoriasis, even hair loss. And ain't nobody wants hair loss. Well, stress 
impacts our immunity and can trigger problems in the skin and truly is one of the most significant contributors to disease really. And we all know that life doesn't come without stress, but we can learn ways to regulate life stressors better. Now let's talk about feeding your machine. We all know we are what we eat. Supporting healthy gut is pivotal for healthy skin. So we think that we just ate the most nutritious, uh, nutritious and, and really fully balanced meal. But if our gut is not properly digesting due to food allergies or other imbalances, then the digestive system can lead to whole body inflammation and sensitive skin. So, so it's, it is what we eat, but it's also more about how our gut is digesting what we eat. And we support gut health and its microbiome, the beneficial bacteria, with pre and probiotics, maybe fiber and protein, and we have to limit our intake of conventional dairy, sugar, processed foods, trans fats, and yep, alcohol. Although I gotta tell you, I love all of those. So everything in moderation, and I think when we get too rigid about things, that doesn't work either, right? So, so we have to be aware, and if we're truly sensitive to a certain thing, then maybe we have to consider you know, being more rigid with that certain thing, and, and considering the rest of it in moderation. But adding food in that is rich in antioxidants, and getting vitamins from their natural sources like raw veggies, even cooked veggies digest, digest you know, a little better. And fruit are essential for taking good care of the gut, the body, and the skin. So, are you a sleeping beauty? Because beauty sleep is important and are you getting good rest? Because when we sleep, our bodies in rest and restore mode. And it's working so hard to regenerate as the system shuts down for a period of time. That's why it shuts down, so the system can regenerate. But just like your computer in sleep mode, you have to be resting. A lack of proper restoration can lead to more inflammation and further worsening acne, eczema, psoriasis, and premature uh, aging. And us older gals, well, we don't like that either. But... I will say sometimes stressing about beauty sleep and am I getting enough sleep actually creates more anxiety, really perpetuating the cycle. So again, at the root of that is anxiety and unmanaged uh, daytime worry. So sagging skin, dark circles can be a result of higher levels of cortisol, the stress hormone brought about by a lack of good rest which is, like I said, brought about by anxiety and some other daytime uh, issues. So we gotta get it moving. Yep, here it is again. You gotta get moving. Exercise supports the immune system, stimulates the lymphatic system, removing toxins, strengthens tissue, supports elastin and collagen. And again, a older gals like that. Uh, movement also reduces stress and anxiety, perpetuating better sleep. So that helps us sleep better, but um, offering that necessary restoration. And again, here we go in moderation. I think that um, we don't induce more stress by, uh, you know, having a, a movement schedule that doesn't suit our lifestyle or an activity that doesn't really suit our lifestyle. So you have to find the best time for you and you have to really find an activity that is moving, that qualifies, but that may be fun and suits you better. And self-care. A little self-love speaks very loud and clear to the body's cells. I'm always talking to my body's cells and I kind of laugh at myself because I kid and I say, okay, I gotta go have a talk with my body cells. Um, but it's really the truth. And I think that it's, it is so, um, it's very cool actually, but it's also very essential. So taking the time to bring about balance by doing things that feed the soul. 
allows us to connect with the core of who we are and our experience really of life. So regularly checking in for the ease and flow of life is essential to maintaining those healthy stress levels and the skin microbiome. So bringing balance by nurturing the skin's microbiome is where product ingredients and skincare routine really come into play. Try to avoid known irritants and harsh products like parabens and synthetics that are stripping and harmful while utilizing uh, just nourishing ingredients to help repair and support the skin conditions and premature aging. Honestly, I like if, if you can eat it, it might not taste very good, but if you can eat it, it's probably really great for your skin. So there are some fantastic butters and oils and nature plant-based ingredients that um, can really, really help support our skin. So just establishing a daily routine for your skin to give it really the care it deserves. So do you see a theme through all of that? It all flows together with stress and anxiety as a lingering culprit to unhealthy skin. We can't stop the hands of time and the aging of skin. Still, we can take a good look at the bigger picture, become more aware of the root causes of skin imbalances and finding support for, for healthier skin, healthier body. A holistic health approach simply means looking at and considering how to treat the whole. Your skin is a reflection of everything going on inside your body. And as a holistic esthetician and coach, I encourage you to consider all factors impacting the body's energy flow for creating a sustainable routine. So healthy skin, remember, is an inside job reflecting on the outside. And I look forward to supporting you in your goal of wellness. So keep shining. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.